write something very cool today that I've been working on for a while. I am releasing DroneCam on the Blender market. DroneCam is an add-on uh, that allows you to control a camera in the Blender viewport. And this camera is going to act physically like a drone. So it's basically a drone simulation in Blender. And you do that, you control this drone slash camera using a controller or a gamepad. Uh, any gamepad will work. Um, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, old one, new ones, uh, it's just gonna work. It's gonna work with RC controllers as well. And when I say it's gonna, it is already. Um, and it's also working right now on Mac, Windows and Linux. So we have controller input in Blender with this add-on and we have a drone simulation and we can render uh, insane uh, aerial shots, flying shots, uh, helicopter-like, something very smooth, very steady, something very insane like those um, racing drones uh, you can see online. Um, so drone cam does bring a lot of stuff as you will see. Um, to install it, uh, you do it like every other add-on, you go here, install from disk, and I already have installed it. So I'm just going to enable it, press N, and you get greeted with this uh, scary UI. Uh, all that really matters is uh, these two buttons. Um, if you click Add Drone Cam, it's going to add the drone to the scene, which I'm going to move in a better place right there so we can see it. Uh, and as you can see, it's just a triangle with a camera attached to it. Doesn't look like much. Uh, if you go into the Geometry Nodes tab, you can see uh, it, it's running a simulation um, which has uh, gravity, uh, some inputs uh, for the throttle or the rotation drag, uh, and a ground. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's, uh, but it is uh, physically accurate, so I'm using a um, real-world formula. Um, and you can see in the modifier uh, tab um, uh, all the simulation parameters I have for a uh, drag. So I have a drag coefficient, air density, reference area. So if you know what you want exactly, you can actually simulate your uh, very own uh, drone that you have in real life, uh, for example. Um, so, well, I should show first what's going on when I click start flying and I'm going to use my Xbox 360 um, gamepad that I have right now and I'm going to click start flying and you can see the drone is going to start flying. And there we go. And it's very hard to control right now because uh, so I am at 24 FPS and if you've played video game you know that it's better to have 60 FPS whenever you want to fly something. Um, here I'm also going to change the power to be of the throttle to be 15 and all the rest can stay like that. Uh, by the way if you just want to control how fast it's rolling or pitching or you can do so, do that with center sensitivity and max rate, which is basically how sensitive it is at when the your axis of control uh, is at neutral place, and when it's like a full um, the, the joystick is fully extended, uh, the maximum value is going to be that. And you can also change the axis index if, uh, for some reason, on your controller it doesn't map to the joystick you want to use for uh, each input. Hope that makes sense. If not, uh, there is written documentation, which uh, I'm better at writing than I am at uh, talking. Uh, so go read that. Um, let's uh, get into the camera and uh, fly around a little bit. So you see, I press uh, start flying and um, I can start uh, flying. And whenever I press stop, uh, it goes back to the first frame and I can press play in the timeline and it's gonna basically it just replays my inputs in uh, geometry nodes. So because geometry node is deterministic, uh, it replays the input and then it allows the simulation to cache because you cannot cache the simulation as you're flying. Uh, so it's just something to remember and then you can render that and uh, get uh, your uh, render. 
Um, yeah, so right now, if I want to fly a bit more steadily, because it's a bit crazy for this uh, environment, um, I could increase the drag coefficient uh, of the drone, so it's gonna be a bit easier to fly in a more narrow space. Also, I'm using a gamepad, uh, which is not the best. You might want to invest in an RC controller just for this. Um, but also, there is a ground height here, and it's better if I reduce this, because right now I cannot go down. Uh, and the ground height is just a virtual floor to stop you from going into the void below your scene forever and ever until infinity. You see, I'm flying my drone. Uh, it looks pretty realistic. Um, yeah, because of the accurate drag and gravity. Uh, as long as you have the right inputs, it should uh, feel just like the real thing, really. And uh, I don't have much more to say. Hopefully, you can see how, like, the potential of it. Uh, if you do spend time uh, on it for big environments, uh, being able to film like that is huge. And even if you just want to fly a drone, uh, a drone simulation, and not pay t 20 euros. Uh, for a shitty Unity one on Steam, uh, you know, you can buy the add-on and do that in Blender, make your own map, make your own level, why not? Um, and uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching, thank you for buying the add-on if you did. Uh, join the Discord servers if you want to speak to me or if you need help with the add-on, uh, I'm always online almost, so uh, don't hesitate to do that. Alright guys. See you next time.